Once you've linked your bank feeds to your ledger accounts, you are ready to receive your bank transactions. Go to the Bank Account screen. If an account is not linked to a bank feed, then you'll see the hyperlink Connect to your bank for the account. Linked accounts do not have this hyperlink. To the right you'll see days since last updated. Reckon 1 is set to download the last 60 days of transactions. You can adjust this number to suit your needs. Go to Administration, Settings and under General, Business Settings. In the field Bank Data Retrieve Last, change the 60 to a more suitable number of days. If this is the first time you are downloading transactions, set this number back to no more than your last reconciliation date to avoid dealing with duplicate transactions. Click Save to finish. You can now click on the Transactions from Bank tab on your bank account to view your latest downloaded transactions. In the top right is the Upload Source section where you will see some details of your bank feed. Last update and whether all transactions have been allocated and the number of transactions left on your bank data plan. If you have manually uploaded transactions through a CSV or QAF file, you will see a second entry for manual uploads. The table below will show transactions for either bank feeds or manual uploads, but not for both. You can switch between the two views by clicking on one and seeing the green highlight move onto it. The transactions in the table are the transactions in your bank data record or your uploaded file. To make these transactions part of your book, you must allocate them to your ledgers. First, look to see if the Auto Match feature has identified any matches with existing entries. This will show with a yellow box and brief details of the match. If it is a true match, you can accept it by clicking the Accept button. Otherwise, click on Allocate Payment. You can enter details quickly by using the two fields to the right to select in this case a supplier and an account. And then click on Accept to allocate it. Alternatively, you can click on the Allocate Detail Payment option on the bottom line of your entry and open the full form where you can enter all detail required. And then on the new tab, select the project Item, Account, Quantity, Discounts and Tax Code Details. Apply these steps for all your transactions. You can simplify this process by creating a rule to automate frequent common entries. Thanks for watching this video and if you have any questions about this process, please go to reckon.com forward slash support.